Hey, what's going on everybody? Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf. We are going to be working on some Firewire reviews for you guys today. So today we're going to be looking at the brand new Dominator 2.0. This is a newer version that they have of the original Dominator that came back uh, back in 2009, I think it was. So uh, they didn't change a lot, but they just refined it and made it a better board overall. So let's talk about some of the changes. So first off they did is they worked on the tail of the board and it used to be a round tail and then they brought it into a squash tail and that's gonna give you a little bit better turns and just make the board more responsive in the surf. Um, and then from there, they've also kind of crisped up the rail line a little bit, so you just get a little bit harder of an edge here, and that's also gonna help engaging those fins and the rail line to make those turns a little bit more aggressive. As far as the overall shape, they've kind of kept with the, the, um, the previous, um, version of it uh, comes to a really nice point here in the nose and the um the, the foam in the middle here is kept the same with lots of volume there. And then the midpoint is still nice and it's kind of centered on the board. And as you can see from the outline, it's really rounded. And that's just gonna help you uh, when you really lay into those turns, have a really nice arcing turn up into the waves. As far as the concaves on the board, uh, center of the board here has that nice large single concave here that's um, gonna add that stability in the board and then moving back, it kind of goes to that double right here and then all the way out the tail here, it starts to, starts to go to a V and that's really gonna help this board loosen up in those turns to make it so you can really dig this board into those turns and make some really radical maneuvers with this. So that's kind of the layout of the concaves on the bottom of this board. Uh, as far as the construction, they've kept with the Helium 2.0 uh, second version of it, which is essentially pretty much the same as the original Helium. They just kind of changed up the look of the board, just kind of give it a fresher, newer look. Um, of course, it's kept the colonial wood rail line wrapped all the way around, and Helium in general is just one of the strongest durable boards that we have, and it also has the best uh, flex pattern to it. So when you're riding this board, even in choppy wave conditions, it just has a really nice feel and absorbs a lot of those um, textures in the water. Uh, so in the previous Dominator, it was pretty much always, always ridden as a thruster. This one, they've set it up so you can run as a quad and a thruster. And this board is definitely a much better board as a quad. It, um, the turns when you engage them have much more of a power and pumping through the wave definitely generates a lot more power and the turns are just a little bit more fluid. Uh, you can also run as a thruster or you can run it also as a two plus one if you had two uh, front fins a little bit taller than a small trailer fin, just kind of giving you a little bit more of that twin feel in a board like this. Uh, as far as the design of this board for a rider, uh, talking with some of the employees here, we kind of feel it's more of like that hybrid. It's definitely not a true groveler like um, a seaside or like the potato. It's definitely going to need some proper wave heights to it. Uh, maybe more of that chest uh, head high I think is what it's going to perform better in. Uh, especially with that rocker too. It definitely doesn't have that really flat rocker. It's definitely got a medium medium lift in the tail and the nose of the board. Uh, so for performance, it's definitely gonna be for that type of rider. And then also could probably go up in some larger conditions as well. So there it is, we're pretty excited about it. We got some really neat color waves. This yellow right here, it's kind of this army camo green off to the side. So lots of different sizes are available and we are um, pretty, uh, pretty highly stocked on these Dominator 2.0s. So if you have any questions on this board, uh, give us a call at the shop or shoot us a message. We can answer it for you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next FireWire video. See ya.